Our main event is underway. Racing into the first corner, Tim Schaefer on the bottom. Has the early lead, Shane Stewart second down the backstretch. Donny Schatz in third, Jason Johnson fourth, Johnson to the inside of Schatz in corner number four. The Steel City Outlaw leads the opening lap at Eldora. Shane Stewart in second, Donny Schatz third, Jason Johnson in fourth. Caution on the speedway. Car slowing and stopping on the inside of corner number four. The 11K of Craig Kinzer. Now Schaefer and Stewart bring the field back to green. Racing into turn one. Shane Stewart jumps up to the cushion. Donnie Schatz takes a peek to the inside of Stewart. Can't make the move for second. We go Abreu up to fifth now. Stewart to the inside of Schaefer in three and four. Looking for the lead. But the Steel City Outlaw will maintain the top spot. Jack Hottenshield moving forward on the top of the racetrack in the NOS Energy Drink number 17. Hottenshield around the outside of Darren Pittman out of turn two. Shane Stewart getting a little closer now. Heavier traffic for leader Tim Schaefer to deal with. We close in on the halfway point of the Before the Crowns main event for the World of Outlaws. Oh, trouble for second place. Shane Stewart's in trouble in turn two. He's slowing and stopping on the outside of the speedway. Green flag waves once again. Schaefer enters turn one on the bottom, drifts to the top side of the racetrack to exit corner number two. Donnie Schatz in second. Jason Johnson in third. We go Abreu now in fourth, and Joey Saldana in fifth. Abreu takes a peek to the inside of Johnson. Can't make the move for third. He'll try the low side again in corner number one. Johnson down low to block. Tim Schaefer pulling away from the field in the Redsick Excavating 49X machine. Halfway home, 15 down and 15 to go. Jack Hottenshield moving forward. The Wild Child up to sixth now in car number 17. He started 13. Ticking in this main event this time by five laps to go. Shots getting closer to Tim Schaefer. Eight tenths of a second now as they race through one and two. Tim Schaefer, Donnie Schatz, Rico Abreu now in third. Battle for fourth, Joey Saldana to the inside. of the 41 of Jason Johnson, the Brownsburg Bullets got the spot. Continuing to watch Donnie Schatz try to reel in the leader. Still an eight-tenths of a second advantage. Traffic thinning out for the race leader. Schatz right through the middle of three and four. Oh, he was good that time. And Donnie Schatz has cut the lead to a half a second. Donnie Schatz right through the middle of three and four and took three tenths of a second off the lead the last time by. They'll come to the two to go signal and Schatz is right there out of turn four. Tim Schaefer and Donnie Schatz. Schatz has been extremely strong in turns three and four. Shots comes off the bottom and turn two, and he's got a run on the leader. Into three and four, racing for the white flag at Eldor, and Donnie Shots challenges for the lead. Can't make the pass stick. White flag waves, one lap to go. Can Shots steal it in the final circuit? Getting with the bottom out of turn two and down the back straightaway. Three and four for the final time. Schaefer in the middle, Shots on the bottom. Tim Schaefer holds him off to win at Eldora. Car into the wall on the final lap, Rico Abreu. He's cut a right rear tire. He's gonna try to whip the car across the line and he will do so. Abreu will finish seventh. Caution flag waves. The final race of the Stock Cars 2017 season here at the Eldora Speedway is green. Gary Ray Jr. gets a good jump on the start. Ernie Woodard outside, we're three wide for third. Meanwhile, Sanchez on the outside, Frank Paladino in the middle, Rob Trent on the bottom. Gary Ray Jr. up front, Ernie Woodard rides in second for now. Both Gary Ray Jr. and Frank Paladino control their own destiny. If one of those drivers wins the race, they will win the championship. We talked about Frank Paladino being the point leader entering this race. He currently rides in sixth. If the race were to end right now, it would be Gary Ray Jr.'s title. Nine laps to go. Gary Ray Jr. continuing to hold off Ernie Woodard as Paul Pardo also tries to run them down. Meanwhile, Frank Paladino tries to work his way to the front. We got trouble here on the front straightaway. Heartbreak as Andy King is involved and in his final stock car start here at the Big E, Ed Houndshell is involved in an accident. He looks forward and it's out and we're back underway. 
Quickly diving to the inside is Frank Palladino. He knows he has to go if he wants a shot at this championship. Rob Trent, though, comes on strong on his outside. He has to go as well if he wants a shot. Meanwhile, the battle's on for second. Here comes no stranger to danger. Paul Pardo taking the spot away from Ernie Woodard. Meanwhile, Gary Ray Jr. going away just a bit at the front of the field. Paul Pardo, though, right there behind him now. We saw what he could do in his heat race. The yellow's out. We've got one car around in turns one and two. Green flag's out, we're back underway. Gary Ray Jr. goes low, Paul Pardo goes high as they sail off into turn number one and Paul Pardo has momentum and Paul Pardo has the lead off of two. Gary Ray Jr. back to second, Ernie Woodard third and Donnie Jeske, don't forget about him, he's right there in fourth. Jeremy Creech meanwhile up to fifth, Frank Palladino, remember he was your point leader by one point entering this event, but struggling here just a bit as he's mired back in eighth. Ernie Woodard trying to take a peek to his outside. Ernie Woodard entered tonight fifth in points, 11 points back of Gary, or of Frank Palladino rather. Ernie Woodard on the outside, looking to grab the second spot away from Gary Ray Jr. and he will do so through three and four. Gary Ray Jr. not done yet though, trying to battle hard on the inside but Woodard will take the spot at the line. Gary Ray Jr. We're watching the point battle. He's in third right now. The track championship would belong to him if he can just ride where he's at. White flag's out. One more time to go. The battle's on for the race win. The battle's on for the track championship. Paul Pardo in the 410. Ernie Woodard tries to look to his inside, but it doesn't work. He, in fact, loses a little bit of momentum. One last shot at him through three and four, but doesn't look like he's gonna get the job done. Coming to the checkered flag, Paul Pardo will win the race. Gary Ray Jr. will win the championship.